everyone. Much obliged. Action stations. Okay, Happy New Year. Thanks, Trab. Appreciate it. Enemy force detected. I'm doing a quick match in AI with the Ryuju to uh, step through the uh, fifth stage of the Hariaku Bureau Project. So, no need to do it in a standard as far as I am concerned. So I'm going to try to get it out of the way in uh, AI. Alright, maybe if I spot some of these destroyers, my teammates will take them out. There you go, there's one. Let's go over here on the other one. Hey Sniper, how you doing? Happy New Year. After the uh, cruiser over there. Perfect. But it looks like we're going to win the match, which is the important point. Hey, Jeff, how you doing? Yeah, Shimikaze is an awesome destroyer. Was one of my favorites for quite a while.
There you go. All right. Not much to that. Right, that was simple enough. Yeah, a lot of people really like the Daring. It's, uh, I guess, the favorite uh, ship for a lot of the community contributors. Edward, how you doing? All right, so I'm doing a giveaway, a bunch of secret Santa crates and super Santa crates, and the way it's going to work is you go to this website, the normal redeemer code website, and when I put in the codes, you just put the codes in there, and the first one to get it will get the crate. That's basically all there is to it. If you get one crate, you're not going to be able to get another um, similar crate. You can get one Secret Santa, one Super Santa, and if you've gotten any of these crates from any other community contributor, you probably won't be able to get one today here. So it's basically one of each crate per person, and yeah, it's regardless of whether you got it from uh, me or some other community contributor. So uh, they want to spread the crates around as much as possible, but that's uh, basically what the main deal is today for the next couple hours or so. Alright, well, looks like we only have three people watching, so that's uh, sort of not cool. Thanks for everybody who is watching, though, but I'm going to do some arena matches uh, in the meantime. Yeah, I guess you got to be careful of all these ships here. So, all right, let me see what my team wants to do. Let's give them a hard time. General quarters. Looks like 
looks like the battleship is going to go right. Oops. Looks like he's going to go left. Fantastic. Maybe he went for the booster there. I don't know. See if I can get some Citadel hits on that uh, Helena. Oh, he's turning out. down. It's looking good. I'm going to try to get this uh, reload booster here. I have to worry about his torpedoes, but I think he's too far away. All right. Destroyed an enemy battleship. Take care of those guys. around with a Fuji.
me come over here and try for these uh, boosters over here. It's pretty far away though. be able to turn harder than that. Gonna come in here and take care of business, it looks like. But either way, after I win this one, I think I'm gonna give away the first crate. go out. Oh. That sucked. Uh, Fuji's over there anyway. Uh-oh. This is bad.
these guys should come right in here and wipe me out. Oh. This is bad. I got nothing to do but uh, die. Yeah. All right. Hey Mother Jedi, how you doing? Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, I remember you were there from the start. Thanks, Puffy. Appreciate the uh, the sub and the like. I'm just uh, reading some of these chat messages. So, um, yeah, I'm back again after being up so late. Um, I guess I mentioned last night I was going to be on uh, in 12 hours, so that's what I'm doing. Yeah, as far as the Marco Polo or the Marlboro, I like the Marco Polo better. I've had a lot of better um, results with the uh, the Marco Polo than the Marlboro. Marlboro seems uh, a little bit lightweight and even though it's supposed to be pretty good with HE. Um, I haven't noticed a huge um, huge benefit with the HE, sort of like um, when you play the Lion. For sure, the Lion, you really notice the HE and the fire starting capabilities. Well, actually, Puffy, the special mission is like if you were to buy out the campaign on day one uh, you can get the special mission for each ship and get up to 2,000 winter shards per ship per week for a total of 10,000 winter shards per ship so that's how you could get 20,000 winter shards over five weeks if you were to buy out both ships on um, on the first day or within the first week Well, technically, you do get the um, the these personal missions upon completion, and so uh, go to the campaigns here, and you get this mission from buying out the Marlboro campaign or completing the campaign um, and selecting Marlboro. And if you go back in and buy out the other ship, you'll get the other mission, the Explorer mission. I think I have, um, well, I, I've got some videos on it. Um, 
about the personal missions if you look on my channel since you just subscribed it's probably the fourth or fifth uh, last video it's about the um, I think it's got a picture of the first Duke uh, personal mission um, panel right there so it explains um, both of the personal missions and I uh, for sure if you look in the video about how to get 35,000 winter shards it'll have that in there all right so let's give away a secret Santa crate Okay, there's the normal Code Redeemer website or link. Yeah, I've always wondered who it is that's lurking on my streams because I could see a bunch of uh, people watching, but no one's ever talking to me. So thanks, uh, thanks for getting on the uh, the chat this time. All right, here is a. Secret Santa crate, first one to get it. Uh, only one person can get it, but I've got like um, 17 more Secret Santa crates to give out. I'll probably be giving uh, multiples at one time, so instead of just one code here, I'll I'll put like two or three out next time. Alright, so here's the Yoshino, and yeah, it does have 20 kilometer torpedoes, which is awesome. But they reload every, um, it's like two and a half minutes is how long it takes to reload. Their maximum damage is pretty good at 20,000. Artillery is awesome. Firing range is almost 20 kilometers. Reloads every 17 seconds. You can citadel. I've citadeled a few battleships with the Yoshino. The problem is when you go out in the open water, you basically get obliterated rather quickly. So it's kind of a, a difficult ship to play. And I can give it a try here. See if I can uh, make something happen. Yeah, the torp speed is not that spectacular. Oh, that's, uh, congrats, uh, Moto. That's pretty good. Yeah, I can imagine the people that had the Yoshino in the first week. I think the only way to do that is to buy the shards and crates in the store for a couple of dollars. Um, I've gotten some hits in them, and it's basically uh, fishing expeditions, like uh, right here to start the match. Let me uh, throw some torpedoes in the open water here. But the problem here at the beginning is um, making sure you do it so you don't hit any teammates. And the maneuverability is uh, horrendous. This is not much of an agile cruiser at all. The 
it's very slow moving so yeah if you're in the open water and you're trying to maneuver out of the way uh, good luck because uh, you are just basically a sitting duck and the people who've done the best have had Azure Lane Otago and I guess Azuma too but I don't have any of those so I I'm just doing uh, Yamato with an accuracy build and I think I'm kind of suffering Yep, no fires. That is awesome. <sighs> yeah, the um, traverse speed is a uh, problem. I think that's the front guns that moved out of the out of the way there. So yeah, these guys are gonna wipe me out here. I think. Yeah. See, I just could not turn quick enough here and you are just screwed. Yeah, I do have the perk on here that um, helps uh, helps you go dark after you fire your main guns. But it is uh, pretty darn rough. At least for me, I'm sure I'm playing the boat wrong. That's how my luck's been going. Guy gets taken out right when I fire at him. He probably would have destroyed me anyway. Maybe I need to play this thing from cover. Let me close in a little closer to this island up here.
So I'm going to try to maneuver over here and get some torpedoes going at that Musashi. Since he's almost got himself beached, it looks like. Yeah. Uh oh. Alright, so yeah, I went dark on him, and that is, uh, that is a good feature. I'm gonna get one hit, look at that. Yeah, that is crazy. Yeah, that's the Yoshino for ya. Just gonna get wiped out by all those torpedoes, very nice. Oh, yeah. All right, now where is this destroyer? I kind of thought he was over to my left. Maybe not. But we're going to go into the base here. All right, let's, uh, well, I guess we're just going to win here. We're not going to have any hope of getting that destroyer, I wouldn't guess, but he is all the way over on the other side of the base. And, uh, took out my teammate in the Marlboro. That's, uh, it's bad luck on his part. Let me see, what is it? Uh, Shimikaze. So the guy could wipe out the whole team, probably. There he is. Clever should easily be able to outgun a Shimikaze. That's how you do it in the uh, Yoshino. <laughs> but yeah, you get in the open water and you do not last long. I'm sure I'm down at the bottom of the thing there. Oh yeah, last place. That's perfect. 
that's uh, that's what you want to do. All right, let's do another. Uh, let's do another crate. All right, this time we're going to do two crates. So. Yeah, I, I guess you're right, Andrew, because the easiest way to do that is to just use your mouse and cut and paste those codes into uh, into um, web browser. So were you able to get a code last night? Because weren't you on the stream last night? Andrew? Hey, no problem, Trab. And hey, if you get a if you get a crate, definitely uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing <laughs> if you haven't already. Really appreciate it. Yeah, too bad you can't sell ships to somebody that uh, that needs a ship. Yeah, I guess there was a lot of camo going around, especially in those secret Santa crates. Yeah, I would like to be able to sell some premium days to someone that really needs them. In fact, I'd probably, that would be a great giveaway if um, the community contributors could give away their premium days to subscribers. That would be great. I would, I would do that in a heartbeat. Yeah, we can do that, Andrew. If you want, you can send me a friend request um, in the so social tab here in the game. All right, so one ship that I did get, um, so the last video I put out was... Um, uh, 105 crate drop from crates I've been collecting for the last two or three weeks or so. And the ship I got, I think, was um, this one. And I haven't really played it much. I was so excited, I accidentally put Sims as a commander on the Sims. Um, 
And I actually went out and didn't do too bad in it in my very first match, but um, I'm going to go ahead and, um, well, I'm going to play it in the arena since I need to do tier 6 here. So let me do that. See if I can make something happen with Sims in uh, in the arena. Well, I did get Cheshire um, the other day, but um, I, I just uh, recently got Sims too. Wait a minute, you're right. Yeah, um, some other crates I got today, I guess. <laughs> Talk about clips. Hey Terra Claw, how you doing? Yeah, okay, so here's here's what happened, Jeff. Um, I went in the store this morning and there was a deal to get two uh, crates for, I think it was 900 doubloons, where they're normally, I think, 1,200 doubloons a piece or something like that. So I got them and opened up both crates at once and one of them was the Sims. That's what it was. So I was opening up too many crates here. So, um, yeah, I certainly found Cheshire tough to play. this booster over here as long as no one else is doing it. Guess the battleship was getting it, but still. This is not good. Guess we'll go over here and see who's taking the base. Probably behind that island back there. If this guy knows that the base is almost halfway uh, halfway gone here.
Everyone's doing smoke screens except for me. Torpedoes to starboard. Engine boost deactivated. I did not mean to hit the button there, damn it. Smoke screen set. I believe I have myself in a bad situation here. Damn. Our team depends upon you. That is not good. You definitely do not want to depend on me. I was going to get away with it there for a second. All right, well, that was uh, grim. And, uh, yeah, let me uh, give the Cheshire a shot. All right, so let's uh, play the Cheshire. Can't really do much worse than I did with the um, the Sims. All 
right in a half hour I'll give out a uh, Super Santa crate And at the end of the stream, I'll give out the last uh, Super Santa crate. I've got two Super Santa crates left and probably, I don't know, probably 15 Secret Santa crates. Alright, looks like we're going to follow the uh, destroyer here. See if we can start the Ganese now on fire. And we do. Is he going to be going for a while? Yeah, it looks like. Cheshire Citadel a Ganese now? I'm gonna guess no. is a horrendously slow turn. turn and uh, not put my broadside to him. Got lucky there. Didn't get
get so lucky there. It's interesting that even though this guy is uh, like damn near going to get rammed by a battleship, you would much rather uh, have a go at me. We have to uh, pay attention to the base now. All forces, capture that area. And where the hell is our destroyer? What's up with that? Our team depends upon you. Well, son of a bitch. That is not uh, great. But those torpedoes were right at their range, it looks like. But these are uh, still going somehow. Huh. I saw some peter out. Maybe they inadvertently hit the hull. But they're going to miss me. If I'm going to be able to make it over to A in time, it's a pretty slow 35 knots. A little bit quicker reload booster. So this guy will be pissed if I can get over here. Oh, he's getting reset. Always the one you don't see that gets you. No, no, I kind of had fun in, in the Cheshire. Yvonne, how you doing? Yeah, I certainly thought that uh, Cheshire wasn't that great first time I played it. But there's a lot of ships that um, are kind of tricky. Hey Axelflex, how you doing? Alright, let's give away another uh, Secret Santa Crate. 
Let me uh, post the link here. Hey, you know what? I am going to play the Tiger 59. How do you like that? Can't possibly do any worse than I did in The Sims. So, no worries. Plus, at the end of that match, it's time to give up that Super Santa crate, so everyone's going to be focused on that instead of how bad I played. So, okay, so here we go. Here is a secret Santa crate. Just pop that in the uh, code redeemer link up above. And I uh, should get a secret Santa crate. Okay, you know what, here's another Secret Santa crate, so we got two of them going here. Alright, and uh, yeah, might as well do the Tiger 59 to um, show why it's the most hated ship in the game. Or the best ship in the game. One of the two. A lot of people like it. I had fun with it. Okay, see you later, Moto Jedi. Thanks for checking in again. And yeah, it has been a long time. I'm sure everybody on my team is pretty upset when they see that there's a Tiger 59 on their team. guy needs my support he's in big trouble all right here we go but what a lot of people don't realize is the Tiger 59 is pretty much up there as far as um, matches that it's in uh, they win the matches they might not get the highest damage of the round but they certainly appear to affect the outcome of any match they're in. So if you don't mind playing a support role in a Tiger 59, you can make a difference. Here we go. Oh yeah. That is how you want to see that happen. That is just awesome. And that wasn't even broadside. <laughs> Alright, 
let's see if we can, uh, well, I don't know, irritate this guy. And those guys are out of radar range, which was eight and a half kilometers. So that is, uh, well, it's pretty bad. Yeah, what kind of an idiot comes in here and plays arena with a Tiger 59? Goodness for the super heal. Oh my. That uh, Belfast is going to wipe us out for sure. Yeah, whatever you do, don't play the arena in a Tiger 59. It's the bottom line there. All right, we're going to do the hood. That was the other one that someone uh, mentioned, so... Let me see, I think um, Tiger 59 was like one quarter of a Minotaur without torpedoes. Because it's got the same guns as the Minotaur. Alright, I'm going to try to uh, pay attention to the game and not to chat. Sorry. There you go, go right in there and uh, take the base. That's the way to do it. Good plan. All right, let's hear a hell yeah. Oh, he's turning. He was going to run right in there and take that base.
Still looks more or less broadside. I think he's uh, going away. Yeah, this is great when you can't see these guys. But I think I better get out of here. That is pretty good. Uh oh, it's got to be a destroyer. Unfortunately, Be able to maneuver halfway decently now. And let me see here. Yeah, I definitely do not want to go into base, become a target. Reset the base all the time, that would be bad. Alright, that's good. the King George will come out over here somewhere. I'm 
Yeah, my teammate doesn't have much left over here, so this is pretty grim. Oh, come on. All right. Hope I can back up before some torpedoes start coming. Problem solved, sir. Well, this is brutal. come in here and do this otherwise the base is going to get captured we lose the match anyway oh it just got reset that's looking good that's not looking good Good news about that is uh, we're going to give away a. Oops. Good news about that is we're going to give away a secret Santa crate, super Santa crate. Sorry. Hey, Badger God, how you doing? Yeah, I figured if I would have pushed in there, uh, it would have been an easy target, but 
sitting still is not great either, I agree. Okay, here's the uh, the website again, and I'm going to do a Super Santa Crate. Yeah, this is the better crate, so here you go. Well, this is the uh, the number. I'm doing a cut and paste direct out of uh, a Discord message I got. So this is this has got to be it. So ah, see, someone already got the uh, the code then. So hopefully they got a super prize. So okay, I'll, I'll tell you what. I will. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of secret Santa crates here. So let me put a couple more in here. So uh, here is another secret Santa crate. Here's a second secret Santa crate. And I'll go ahead and do one more since I have so many of them here. Okay, there's another one. Okay, see you later, Puffy Merc. Thanks for uh, joining the stream and the chat. Appreciate it. All right, good to hear, Even. Nice to have you on the stream. Bye, Puffy. Oh, thanks, Vaughn. I really appreciate it. Definitely appreciate all the support. Makes it worthwhile doing.
Let me see, 22,000 to make it to the top 10. I've got four battles to do it. I don't really, really want to run any boosters. I don't think that's going to happen. But okay, let's... Um, Let me see, someone was, uh... Yes, yeah, so let me see, if I wanted to buy the Nelson, uh... Yeah, it'd be uh, fifty dollars. All right. I'm. <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to go down to um, tier three. And do the Agincourt. And that is an awesome ship. It was in the last Advent calendar. Hey, Zuma, how you doing? Jank who? You, you mean Jankonomics is the number one guy here in Arena? Is, is that what you're telling me, Exoflix? Wow, I got to go on his stream and congratulate him. That is awesome. He's a he's a, a great guy. Yeah, Mark has been, uh, I think he finished first place in the last arena season. That is awesome. Must be pretty amazing to be that good. I uh, can only imagine. I was in one match against Mark uh, last time, and they blew out my team like, really quick. this much fog in the game before. This is kind of awesome graphics, actually. Good game, everyone. We're going to have a go at the uh, Trenchu. That 
that guy stayed on course and speed. Oh, damn near took him out. Okay, we'll get him here. He went more broadside. That is unbelievable. And eight seconds, one second, and it disappears. You gotta be kidding me. That is just so aggravating. And apparently I am not the king of blind fires. There you go. Nassau comes around the other side of that island. I might be able to get him. Oh, yeah. Looking good. No, he's turning into me. That's not great. Ah. South Carolina is a good victim. All right. Agincourt's having a bad day. <laughs> Maybe we can wipe them out with the secondaries here. All right, we did. And we're gonna go after the Agincourt there. We have so much health that uh, nothing can go wrong, right? sure if it's worth leaving the base. Well, those guys are on the edge of the map over there. Maybe it is worth... Oh, this guy's almost dead. So, okay. Yeah, we'll take that guy out if we can get up here quick enough. gonna look at it. <sighs> right, good job on Langley. That's bad. Damn it, I was hoping we'd win this match.
Hey, no problem, Dark Killer. Thanks for joining the chat. If you're not a subscriber, uh, please subscribe. If you're a subscriber, thanks for the support. Sort of afraid if I abandon the uh, cap here, they're going to take the uh, the base. But if I don't, we're going to lose on points. So. I swear that thing curved toward me. cap in the base, so I guess uh, just going to be looking to get damage here. His aircraft carrier can uh, reset those guys by getting hits. That's uh, maybe one option. I see no way I'm going to survive even one torpedo hit here. And that could be what we're looking at here. It's going to take me out on a single torpedo hit. Is the AA going to do it? That's too many airplanes. Damn it. actually win this if it wasn't for these damn airplanes and 40 40 health damn we take them out in six seconds not with he Don't arm, don't arm, don't arm, don't arm, don't arm. Ugh.
All right, I'm going to do another Secret Santa crate. Here's the Code Redeemer link. Here you go, good luck. Alright, good going, Exoflex. Yeah, I definitely like the Agincourt. Right, I got to do uh, premium supplies. I got to do a tier two, so uh, got a vampire media. I haven't done this one in forever, so we're going to give this one a try. Yeah, I can imagine it would be pretty, uh, pretty hectic trying to type them in like that. Right, so this is cool because it has like a gazillion guns, so... But they're on the side here, like, um... Like the old Ironsides, um... Ships of the Line. Sergeant Bacon Turt is on our team, so we should definitely win this one. All right. If we can find Sergeant Bacon Turt, I'm definitely going to support him. The Agincourt is not good. Let 
me see how many guns we can get on this guy right here. That is a lot of guns. But the island indicator was up. Darn it. As I recall, uh, armor piercing is not so great here. Wow. Give the armor piercing a try. That was a bit of some luck, and we are getting wiped out here. got to do is pick off these other guys. Okay, it's too much health. Uh, Phoenix. The ship is on fire. Problem solved, sir. Just like that. On three seconds. All right. Didn't necessarily want to do that. An and now we're going to get wiped out by this Agincourt. Or these torpedoes. Hey, Here we go. Yep. That's a pretty good score there, Exaflex. Are you going to win the game, though?
Uh, what place did you finish in? That's a great score. Great game. Good game. All right, stand by. I'm going to step away for a second.
All right. Uh... Really, what is, uh, Jeff, uh, what is the current damage record for Caprice? Capri, not Caprice, sorry. Um, Ajax, uh, Space Fishy is worth it if you want uh, faster torpedoes. Yeah, base trait is torpedo speed, and if you go all the way up to rank 16, legendary 4, you get a 4 knot increase in torpedo speed. So he's worth it if you want to do that. Uh, basically a torpedo-centric commander. I'm not sure about his unique skill here, but um, I've experimented with him once or twice. I've actually experimented with uh, using him as a base or as an inspiration on aircraft carriers that I want to increase the torpedo speed on aircraft carriers. So I would make him an inspiration on an aircraft carrier commander, for example. I've experimented with that. Oh, congratulations, Jeff. Kutura, let me see. Yeah, the twist and track and reaching out and mortar is more for a gunboat commander. I'm not that great with uh, the gunboat deal, so I went with uh, torpedoes, and that's why I've maxed out this guy. Um, the other torpedo person for the Japanese is um, this guy right here. If you ever get a chance to get him. He's got a trait here, torpedo bundle, which uh, really reduces torpedo launcher reload time. But you do take a 10% hit on the damage. It's um, sort of similar to um, Blue Fiora. I think he's uh, Arpaggio. I think. But all these other ones say Arpaggio, so I'm not really sure what event uh, he's from. But he has like a double, um, triple torpedo launcher reload time inspiration here with the base trait, subsurface venture, and then uh, the torpedo bundle here. Yeah, it's twice the reload time of um, back in stock, but you do have that 10% hit on the damage. Which I've tried to make up with um, by having Deng Shishang, which increases the torpedo damage by 2.7%. So.
Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, Kirita is a gunboat commander. Yeah, Exoflex, we might be able to division up sometime. That that would be good. All right, well, let me go back in the arena and see if I can uh, possibly win a match. Had good luck with the scone, actually. Let me try that. Alright, that Oland is uh, going to be a pretty formidable uh, destroyer up there. I guess they're all going to be something to deal with, so... like they're going to go this way, so I'll head over this way. Engine boost activated. See how they like that if they're trying to sneak over there. Sir, the ship is on fire. Critical engine damage. Well, that's what you get for playing aggressive, I guess. Those torpedoes were anywhere near them. 
Would have gotten him if he didn't turn away. Oh well. Let me go with the Sharnhorst. Uh, I'm, no, I'm not that guy that beats down on everybody and wins. I could definitely use the assistance. Monster on our team, huh? Guys backing up, I'm not sure that's great. Hey, I'm just a simple guy trying to get along, okay? Fire extinguisher there. That was a mistake. Problem solved, sir. Let me see where my teammates are. Just sitting back here. this guy. Enemy destroyer detected. Right, I 
I think I'm going to follow the destroyer. Or I get back over by the King George. Let me slow down. Ooh, we got some lucky hits. All right. Well, either way, the Benson's gone. see what they want to do here. I guess uh, just go around the perimeter and pick everybody off. That's what it looks like. So after this match, I'll be giving away another uh, secret Santa crate. And he's going behind the island, so all right. <laughs> yeah, maybe we can capture that base. All these guys on the perimeter are not wanting to get involved. That looks good. bad.
on fire. was a bad deal. Yeah, it looks like we're going to lose that one. So yeah, obviously, I didn't see the uh, destroyer behind me there, Jeff, so. All right, let me put a uh, secret Santa code in here. There's the link. There's a redeemer code for the uh, Secret Santa crate. And all right. Right, we're gonna see if we can do it. All right, we're in a division. Give a microphone. Well, um, I actually had the best luck with the Belfast, so I think I'll uh, go with the Belfast. give you these crates to, these codes for the crates to share for streams yeah they like gave them to 
Uh, well, they gave them to all the community contributors, and um, I've only been a community contributor for a few months, so um, this is the first um, first time I've gotten these codes. They they might do it every holiday season. I'm not 100% sure. I just know we got like uh, 23 of them for this uh, for this deal. So, uh, I'm going right on this map is best for this side. Okay. Go north. Okay. Which turns out because they have to pop out in front of the island if they want the booster over here. Okay. Sounds good. Boosters right in. Booster if you want to start heading that direction. Yeah. Oh, you'll get the relay boost, the reload booster if I want to yeah. go north. Yeah, okay. I'll grab it. All right, yeah. gotcha. Just trying to make sure our battleship goes that direction. Yeah, I gotcha. And yeah, so the uh, Sharn Horse has a winter camo, so you Have spent you a lot of... Belfast is a good ship for Arena, or...? I've had good luck with it in the few matches I've played. Um, I probably, whenever I've won solo, it's kind of rough to win solo, I guess. But yeah, whenever... Yeah, whenever I've won solo, it's been in the Belfast, actually. Yeah, I like it in general. Um, the uh, Belfast 43 was a little bit of a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> but I really did like the Belfast. It seemed to have a really quick reload and um, really deals out a lot of damage. Smokescreen helps, I think. And the radar. Yeah, it really does. How long is the radar on that? 9.9? .9? Eight point five. Eight point five, huh? Interesting that they didn't give it a nine kilometer radar. Yeah, there's probably a a reason for that, some yeah. actuarial. Yeah. Yeah. For balancing the game or something. So the battleship went uh, completely the opposite way. He said, "The hell with us." So yeah. he's not as interested. As long as he grabs that reload booster, I won't be too mad. Yeah. There's the garage. Yeah, so you're good to go against that thing. <laughs> yep. These guns are pretty good, though. But I got him lined up here. You just pop out, which he didn't. Yeah, I can hit the radar if you want. Once he disappears. Okay. Well, with my sonar right now. Okay. And he turned around, so he's going to be with the sonar. Yeah, so you don't need to pop radar. So you shouldn't need to pop radar. Yeah, you should be fine. All right. Oh my goodness, you kidding me? Not gonna give it to me again. So, I don't I'll know if it's... Him. Okay, I don't know I'll if it's a smart thing to do. I was... Going. I was thinking about going around Maybe. the other side of this island. But I can certainly finish him off if I come around there. Oh, you got him. Alright, cool. Yeah, I don't and think his deep water torps really helped him there. <laughs> Well, he's 
Not gonna do anything on you on oh, that one. Oh, look at our battleship. He's being chased by a destroyer. He's right behind him. Yeah. Boise. Uh oh. Uh oh. You might want to just try torping them both. Yeah, I would if I had torps. <laughs> oh yeah, I forget that ship doesn't have torps. Uh -oh. Yeah. Probably should have hit the radar. Would have found those guys. They got me before I could even uh, fire a second salvo. That was definitely not a good play, especially with both of those ships back there. So our battleship is almost uh, gone. He did just as good as I did. No, better, because he lasted longer. Alright, your last guy. Man, it's a moot point anyway. It looks like they're going to take the base. Yeah. Noticed. Tested though, so I mean, not a guarantee just yet. Hey Richard, how you doing? Man, that boy's he turned perfectly. Unless he turns back out. Oh, he is turning back out, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. My favorite tech tree um, destroyer is probably the um, Akazuki. Akazuki over Sumner. Yeah, I like torpedoes. Huh. I've gotten, uh, I've had so many good games in Akazuki that uh, at least I used to. I will not deny that. Yeah. Hey, no problem, Jeff. Thanks for uh, checking out the stream. Uh, I guess we can do one more match if you want, and then uh, yeah, sure. I'll go solo again. But 
Let me see. I'm going to do something crazy and uh, do the Ragnarok. That's crazy, right? Actually, the Fiji with the torpedoes is... Uh, maybe that would be pretty good. Just haven't done the Ragnarok yet. You know, I'm going to do the Ragnarok. As well. I can't do any worse than I did in that last match. Actually, you can. You could be the first dead in the whole match. Thanks. Yeah, you're, you're right. Alright, actually, I think uh, either way, this is going to be the last um, last match of the stream, I think. Let me see how many more crates I've got. Um, I can keep going, I guess. I uh, Stand by. Back uh, before the match starts. There's no destroyers in this match, and that's good because it seems like every time I'm in the Ragnarok, I always get wiped out by torpedoes. The only sad thing is I'm running Sap, but Sap isn't too bad over HE. Yeah, um, in general, whenever I have it on a battleship, I don't really... I think it does as much damage as I think it should, but I'm sure I haven't really played it enough. But for sure, in uh, I think it's the Abruzzi, I've pretty much um, single fired yeah, uh, really destroyers. Abruzzi. Yeah. There's that reload booster to your direct right. They're almost like near two o'clock. Five point nine kilometers away. Mm -hmm. All right. I guess I can try to get it. I'm looking at the Indianapolis. Flat broadside. You want to go punish him? That looks like our teammate in uh, Heinrich is going to He's get going the. To uh, yeah. So I'm going to move over by you, I think. Yeah, it looks like he's going for it. is uh, over 18 kilometers away. My main gun range is 16. I'm 
Okay, that's yeah, good. Just take the pieces off of them. This SAP. Yeah. All right, the orange team is gone. That's good. And they were fighting with dark red. Yeah, dark red still looks uh, fairly healthy, so they uh, came off a little bit better. Got to shut on the gun ice now. See if I can make something happen. Hit the reload booster. Looks like he's broadside. That Colorado is firing HE, by the way. Ooh, and I'm chunking him. Just going to break my okay. Alright. Yeah, the uh, Indianapolis is running away. So is the Colorado. I guess it happens, right? Yep. Focus. I was so focused on that Colorado when I noticed the Gnizen, I was just too late. Yeah. Yeah. So, ooh, got 12,000 on the Colorado. So I have five heals here. I want to make sure I survive the match long enough to use them all. Yeah. What's that? Was it is, is Ragnarok Japanese? Yep. Is it just basically an auto with a different name? Uh, Yamato? No, it's, uh, uh did you say no. Nagato? Nagato. Nagato. Yeah, it is. It's based on a Nagato, but I think it has less hit points and all sorts of stuff. Is Nagato just better than Um, no, Nagato doesn't have a reload booster, I don't think. Oh, this thing has a... Yep. Nice. Problem solved. Problem solved. That's right. Indianapolis is almost yeah, gone. Yoink. See if I can get him. Oh, someone else got him. Alright, no worries. As long as they got taken out, that's the important thing. this red team. They're where, um, where is it? They're exactly where, um, Orange died. I know there's like one ship there at least. Alright. Like just to the left of where Orange died is at least one of their battleships, I think. Maybe it's their cruiser. Actually, pretty close on cap. There's no way they wouldn't make it back in time. Well, they're over two. Or really far out. 
They're over to uh, my left over here. On the other side of that big island, it looks like. That's where the shells are coming from to try to hit our teammate here. Actually, you might be able to cap it before they even come over here. Yeah. Looks like we will. Yeah, no. Why is he backing up? All right, we got it. Nice. Far out, I mean, they'll get more XP, but damn. Sixteen thousand points to the next. Uh, so let me see. You said the number one guy up there was Jankonomics, huh? Or Yankonomics? Someone said that. Who said that? So. Uh, Yeah, that's his, uh, it's his patch symbol, for sure. Huh. It's Jank, yeah, it's Jank. Because I can see it on mine. That's weird that you guys can't see Xbox usernames, but we can see PS4s. Hmm. Huh. All right, well, that victory deserves, uh, another secret Santa crate to be given away so let's go ahead and do that I go ahead try to win that puppy want to go legendary tier after you're done with the sand crate thing yeah Right, there's another secret Santa crate. And okay, yeah, we'll do a uh, legendary match. Aaron and Peak's favorite battleship, the Montana. <laughs> Don't tempt me, I might. But no, I'm going to play uh, my favorite ship, oh, the Colbert. Favorite. Man, Hipper really annoyed me. I think when, when it came out first, well, before it came out for everybody else, like right as it came out in his bureau and the CCs had it for two weeks, Yeah. I ran to Hipper at least seven times while he, in a battleship and legendary tier with mm -hmm. he was in that. And he, annoy the living daylights out of me. 
Yeah. Um, the man couldn't be killed. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I like it. I, I also haven't really played the Borjan uh, much. I just got that out of the Bureau, so... Um, but, you know what, I'm going to try to put on a show here with the Colbert. I was actually going to do something crazy, like uh, put out a challenge where if I'm playing in a match and you destroy my Colbert, contact me on Discord and I'll give you a $25 gift certificate. But that would probably put too much of a mark on me. You know, I, would be, I would spend my whole entire day doing that, right? Yeah, that's the problem. But I was thinking I still may do it. I may, I may do it for a day or something. It sounds, it sounds fun. It, it sounds like a, like a day challenge or a stream challenge. Yeah, cool video. So I assume you're on Hipper's Agile, Colbert. It's Agile. It's probably the same thing Hipper's doing. Um, but... I'm like a shark when I'm in this thing. I don't really sit still. I think Hipper sits still when he's using the coil. He's using the armor, you know, the 32 millimeter armor. Yeah, he more. uses the rear. Yeah. He uses the rear a bit more than the stern, which I found very odd. Because I find that Citadel and Colbert is easier through the, st through the stern. That's because of that superstructure. Yeah. Well, I generally don't sit around long enough to let anybody do anything like that. But we'll see how it goes. I mean, sometimes I have good matches. Sometimes I get wiped out really quick. Got a double fire on that Marco Bolt Marlboro. Double bar. And here come the shells and they miss, so I really want to give this Marble a reason of why he should have picked the the, the Marco Polo. Yep, yeah, a lot, of, reason. a lot of people are swearing by the Marlboro. There's a reason why you shouldn't pick it. Almost dead and the battle just begun. I don't understand why people are swearing by it. I mean... I, I, I see why 16 guns, I mean, that is very appealing, but that Citadel is just camp. Well, I wasn't really able to make the 16 guns do much of anything except look cool when you fire all of them at once. Yeah, honestly. And, um... Yeah, I was not able to come up with a good review video where I highlight like a first place finish with um, you know that whole deal I wasn't able to do that yeah that's why I had the review video I had I loved Aaron's he played one game in it or one game and he almost hit it I was like there's my video <laughs> yeah Damn it, I'm firing uh, AP. Why didn't somebody tell me? <laughs> Son of a bitch. No wonder why I'm not getting any fires. Uh oh. Where's my fire chance going? And I've got like way too many torpedoes coming at me. This is going to be tricky. A lightning, Shimikaze, and a Clever. Hey, there's a fire. 
damn. Hey, Clever's just sitting behind the island, so he wants to get wiped out, looks like. Yamato's just sitting here. Definite sitting duck. Uh oh. Son of a bitch. Hit that work strip pretty hard. Had to slow up enough to really uh, give these guys a chance here. Yamato got me. That's Yamato. Shells are just destructive. <sighs> okay, hey Dan, how you doing? Well, uh, whatever you do, don't do that if you ever get a Colbert. <laughs> Probably should have. Colbert anymore? If you just downloaded the game. Yeah, I know. But he doesn't know that yet, because he just downloaded the game. <laughs> Come on, man. Hey Dan, thanks for joining the stream, and yeah, welcome to uh, World of Warships Legends. It is a really fun game. The best tech tree ship, the best tech tree ship line to grind uh, for me. I started with the Germans, so I wanted the Bismarck, like probably everybody else. Uh, apparently it's Andrew who's in in the stream here so secondaries question mark lol existence no. question mark yeah good game Andrew you survived longer than I did Could win the game for your team. Love how the the that that Shimakaze wasn't detected that whole match and decides to yolo me. Okay. Actually, that Shimakaze. Oh yeah, you got a double strike. I mean, kudos to him actually. That area. Got a nice double strike earlier. I forgot. So, so who's in the stream? Uh, the Colbert player, um, Sacrifice, Sacrifice Angels. Sacrifice Angels? Yeah. Hey, I don't care if you're, uh, if you're watching the video. A lot of people get upset about that. Uh, I guess uh, they call it stream sniping. Um, 
Well, uh, I don't think you were drinking too much spiced rum because you were playing pretty good, it looked like. All right, um, I'm gonna return to port and uh, I'll do one more legendary match. Uh, let me do another um, Secret Santa Crate for giveaway. Right. Uh, Put this in the code redeemer link. Hey, no, no worries, Puffy. All right, I'll do uh, one last uh, legendary match, maybe in the uh, Bourjon. You have another legendary ship. Okay, Des Moines should work. Right, yeah, you know what? I think this time I'm gonna go with. Uh, oops. I could do the Des Moines if you want. Uh, Des Moines is fine. What? Whatever you want. No, I don't care. It's up to you. Whatever you want to play. I'm gonna do the Bourjon. All right. I think. Uh, yeah, this will be the last match of the stream and the last thing I'm going to give away is a um, Super Santa Crates. Last one I got. Wait, did they give you any Megas to give away or no? They did not. Those Mega Crates were awesome this year actually. Yeah, so uh, Dan, the, um, the code is um, each person can get one Secret Santa and one Super Santa if they get the code and if you got it from any other community contributor you shouldn't be able to get it from a second community contributor so it's one person can get one crate of each type um, through through this uh, this event basically from any of the community contributors uh, okay so it's one per person or is it yeah two so persons? anyone who got these crates today from me would not be able to get it another similar crate from any other community contributor from what I've been told. Okay, so it's one crate and done. Yes, for, for the community. So that's for of each type. So each person can get a secret Santa and a super Santa. Okay. But, like, if you go on Aaron's stream later on tonight and he's giving away crates and someone got a crate from me, uh, the code shouldn't work. Okay. As I understand it. Alright, so I'm going to come over here and follow you guys. Oh, I see you got that cool skin on the uh, Des Moines. Yeah, I like that skin. That, uh, Made all the difference for me. <laughs> I, I love the skin on the on the Des Moines. Just oh, so nice. I, right. like, I like running the plane over the radar. Uh, 
Yeah, the plane does a fair amount of spotting, actually. It does, but I actually... Cause like, I'm spotted right now, and I would assume there's a destroyer here, like him. He's trying to get up the center without being noticed. And yeah, there's a Hayate eight kilometers to your left. He just beached himself. Yeah, he's enjoying my radar. Which is bad for him. And torpedoes are coming at me. Torpedoes to port. Holy shit. How many torpedoes does this guy have? He really set me up. Um, it's 10, or unless he had his real torp reload booster instead of, instead of running smoke. And it would be 20. It looked like 20. No, 30. Holy yep, shit. There's no, that's 20, because he has two racks of 10. Problem solved, sir. Well, luckily no floods. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sacrifice Angel's on the other team, and his Yamada. That's some pretty good luck. Either that or he's going to tell us how he's getting in. So I could start doing some um, count-ins, which I wanted to do. Your stream delay is like absolutely nothing, but please don't change it, because if I ever do want to get in your game, it's pretty simple. What What do you like mean? Spartan. The, the stream delay is nothing. So you take a, you take a jump. So I, I'll go in three seconds before you would go into a game when I'm watching your stream, and I'd be in your game, odds are. Spartan runs a 30. Uh, Spartan runs like a same similar stream delay. It's almost nothing. But Aaron I'm. He can run a bit more. But I'm not running. I'm just streaming yeah, just to YouTube. I'm not uh, any delay. doing anything. Yeah, you don't put a delay in your stream where other streamers sometimes do. And that Worcester might want to. I completely whiffed on him. About to do one of the dumbest yet ballsiest yet smartest that moves hopefully ever if it pays off. This guy must be on the stream and saw what happened with me and the uh, Hayate because... Uh, I sacrifice. By the way, I can Citadel you. Surprise! This guy must be looking to take me out in uh, Worcester somehow, which I do not think I understand. Now 20,000 less hit points than he was. Concentrate fire on the designated target. In 10 seconds, I hope he's going to be gone. But he's uh, lighting me on fire pretty good. Um, are you want any? Oh, I don't think I can get to for well. Yeah, no, it looks like he's gonna get me, but he's got like no health himself. Yeah, I, yeah, no, I was burning down big time. Oh, I know, I saw. Don't worry, I'll finish him off.
Yeah, unfortunately, Andrew, thanks for letting me know the destroyer is coming up the mid. Um, I wasn't looking at the chat while I was uh, playing. Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. I'm gonna play my cards and try citadeling this um, Marco Polo. Because I can do it to Yamato. Alright, well it's gonna be on live stream right here, so this is your moment. Nope, just pen. Tons of pens on them. Yeah, here comes a destroyer. See me against um, Andrew's Yamato. Ugh. I, I, the fact that ugh, that thing can just sit it out, let me daylights out of it. Yeah, well, it looks like we are gonna win this match pretty easily. So there is that. Jaguar, I was wondering, what do you do to become mods on your channel? Be a nice guy. <laughs> okay. And, and responsible. And, uh, yeah, I've only got one mod on the channel. Um, yeah, so I was like, I don't see very many mods on your channel. You don't. That's because um, not many people have wanted to, I think. And, um... You know, I gotta have someone you can trust too. Yep, I understand that. Wanna try being a mod? Yeah, might as well. I was just thinking, because I just see, like, because I see very few mods on your channel, that's why. Let me one. Andrew. All right, so you're now a moderator, so, um, and obviously the moderator thing could come and go at any time, right? So, yes, uh, obviously. I understand yeah. That. So, all right, so I think that's going to be uh, it for the stream. And the last thing I want to do was give out the um, the last Super Santa crate that I have. So, um, yeah, don't uh, don't go just yet, everybody. Right here's a code redeemer link, and this is the last uh, Super Santa crate that I have to give away. All 
Right. Good luck, everybody. And Puffy, thanks for the great information about all the other CCs. Should probably be a mod too. <laughs> Yeah, and, um, right, congratulations, world boss. Really, what ship did you get? Hopefully it was the Jean Bart. That's the, uh, the number one prize. Yeah, Frederick. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm going to drop a surprise. Uh, Secret Santa Crate is the last one. And I will probably be on later on tonight around uh, 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. Central and give away the rest of the codes that I have. I have like six Secret Santa crates. Uh, that's it for my list. And uh, yeah, probably be uh, probably be on tonight to give away the rest of those crates. So. Anyway, thanks for joining the stream, everybody. I really appreciate it. This was a great stream. Hopefully, I'll see you all again. This is the Jaguar, and I'll see you on the high seas. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody. Bye, Puffy.